Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem on first order differential equation. Given problem is solve secant square y to dy by dx plus 2x into tan y is equal to x. Friends, you know first order first degree standard linear differential equation is of the form dy by dx plus y of x y is equal to of x okay here right side q of x is there just dy by dx equation should be one but here you have secant square y if you take in secant square y left side means divide it to, divide with the secant square y you will have x into tan y by secant square y is equal to x cube by secant square y but right dy in that time dy by dx equation should be one okay here you are getting one but what about the right side part is q of x that is a function of x no, it will become an x cube by secant square y. So it is not a function of x. So what to do? So even here uh, we are unable to do by using the linear differential equation of first order and first degree. So how to solve this one means how to go for the substitution method. Substitution method, this is also called as a change of variables. In this case, you see friends, p of x into y. p of x means here you have only x. 2 is a constant. In place of y, what I have? tan y. So let us consider tan y is equal to 1 variable. So I am considering here, to solve this equation, I am considering tan y is equal to. Now I want dy by dx also. I am changing the variables from y to v. I am changing the variables from y to v. So I have to change dy by dx is also in terms of what? dv by dx. So I want to differentiate this given a uh, differentiate uh, p is equal to tan y with respect to what with respect to x. So differentiate with respect to x and you will have tan y derivative is square y to dy by dx is equal to dv by now you substitute this equation 1 and 2 in the given problem. You see left side secant square y into dy by dx are you there or uh, is it there or not here? Yes, so this is dv by dx. I can write dv by plus 2x into what you consider as a tan y? Tan y is equal to v. Is equal to x cube is as it is x cube. Now, friends, you observe this is in the form of dv by dx plus p e of x into v is equal to q of x. Yes or no? dv by dx plus p e of x into v is equal to q of x. So, it is also what you can say linear differential equation of first order first degree but here what we have done we have changed the variable from y to v so this is also known as change of variables or substitution method right now you have to simplify this if the given uh, uh, equation is in this form then what uh, this is non exact so we have to multiply with integrating factor what is integrating factor means integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integral P of x dx and the general solution is here in place of y what we have v so v into integrating factor is equal to integral of q of x into integrating factor dx plus c after getting the solution we have to replace v by tan v this is the method is it clear for everyone now i am solving this now P of x is if I compare here you have a p of x is equal to x q of x is equal to x cube. Now integrating factor. Integrating factor is to the power of integral p of x is equal to e to the power of integral p of x means 2x. This is equal to e to the power of 2x means 2 is a constant x integration x square by 2 x square by 2. Here 2 and 2 getting cancelled, then you will have e to the power of x square. So e power x square is an integrating factor for this equation number 3. Now the general solution. General solution is p into integrating factor. p into integrating factor is equal to integral of q of x into integrating factor dx plus c. So v is, I can write directly tan y. Okay, or else I will write first v only. Integrating factor is e to the power of x square is equal to integral of 
Q of x. What is the Q of x? I have x cube. Hmm, x cube here, not x. Okay, x cube into integrative factor is e to the power of x square into dx plus c. Now you have to simplify this integration. Okay, friends. Now p is I am writing right now. V is equal to what we consider tan pi into e to the power of x square. Right side you have to simplify e to the power of x square into x cube. It is exponential function. It is x cube here you have. You cannot do e to the power of uh, direct integration you cannot do. So go for substitution method. e power what you have? x square. So let x square is equal to t. x square is equal to t. If you consider x square is equal to t, I want, I am changing here x is in terms of t. I am changing x is, in, x is in terms of t. So dx also we have to change. So dx should be in terms of dt. In terms of dt. But I am verifying what is the dx now. So differentiate on both sides. Now, differentiating means 2x into dx is equal to dt. Therefore, dx, in place of dx, you can write dt by 2x. But uh, dx, we have to change in terms of t. But is there, uh, in the numerator, you have a dt, that is okay. What about the x? From this only, we have to change. x square is equal to what you have? t. So, x is equal to what you will get? Root t. x is equal to root t. Let it be. This is dt by 2 root t. Or else 2x dx is equal to dt. This one, or else we have to change dx is equal to dt by 2 root t. Whichever is better for us, that one you have to take. Now, integral of, here you see friends, e power x square means e to the power of t. e to the power of t. Now, x cube I can write as x square into x. Yes or no? So, this is x square is there. x square is nothing but what I have to write? t. Now what I have remaining term? x. x dx. What is x dx from this? x dx is nothing but you see friends. x dx. x dx is equal to dt by 2. So write down dt by 2. Yes. Now I am writing 1 by 2 outside. Then integral of e to the power of t into t s c. Sorry into dt. dt s c. Now directly I am writing. Otherwise you can apply the uv rule. What is the uv rule you have? u v u dash is equal to u v dash plus v u dash in the derivative. What about the integration? u v integration is u v1. Friends, dx is there here. u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 and so on. Where dash symbol gives a derivative. First derivative, second derivative, third derivative respectively. Next v1 is nothing but first time integration of v, second time integration of v, third time integration of v. Okay. Now, which one you have to take as a u? Nothing but we have to take which derivative is decreasing? Exponential function derivative is decreasing? Never. So t is there. t derivative is 1. 1 derivative is 0. So I am considering this as u and this as a v. So 1 by 2 times of now t into t into what is the T, t into v1. What is the v1? e power integration. e power t integration is e power t minus u dash. u dash means t derivative is 1 into. This is friends v1. This is u. Now y dash. u dash is this one. Next what about the v2? e power t integration is again e power t only. Plus 1 derivative is 0. So no need to write v3 also. Okay. Now if you simplify this then you will get tan pi into e to the power of x square is equal to 1 by 2 into from these two i can take e power t is a common e power t if i take in common then i will have t minus 1 now friends actually the solution is in terms of what actually x and y only so here you have a t what i can replace t by x square is equal to t you consider therefore t also you can replace it by x square only so the solution is tan y into e to the power of x square is equal to 1 by 2 times of t is equal to x square means e power x square into x square minus 1. Now you observe left side uh, e power x square is there, right side also e power x square is there. So both will be cancelled. Right? Yes or no? Now okay, plus c is there, sorry, plus c is there. Right, right. Plus c is there, no? I let that plus c. If I cancel, then what I can get means this will be left side. Numer uh, this will be left side means this numerator and denominator getting cancelled. Then c by e to the power of x square will become c into e to the power of minus x square. Therefore, the general solution finally I can say 
tan y is equal to x square minus 1 by 2 plus c into e to the power of minus x square. That's it. Is it clear for everyone? Right. In the next video, we will solve similar problem that is solve dy by dx minus tan y by 1 plus x is equal to x plus 1 into e power x into secant y. So friends, this problem I will solve. If you want, you can try also. I will give one hint for you. Friends, actually dy by dx equation should be 1. That is also okay. Now linear differential equation, first order, I am writing dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to 2 of x actually. But here you see p of x means x plus 1 is there. Okay. But here uh, e power x, that is also okay. But here you have extra term is secant y is there. So you have to remove this term. Next year what I have? Tan y is there. Okay, P, x, P of x means 1 by x plus 1, but here you have a tan y. So what to do means, first the secant y divide with the secant y. Later, take the remaining, what you are getting, the term as a v. The term as a v. You see, if I divide it, then I will have tan y by secant y. Tan y is nothing but sine by cos. Secant means 1 by cos. So numerator will be cos. So this one, this one getting cancelled. Then you will have cos uh, sin y only. So let us consider sin y is equal to v. Then you will get the general solution for this. I will solve in the next video. Okay. If you are not getting, please watch. Thank you for watching this video.